Hello, everyone. What could be more frightening than being trapped underground, maybe in a cave, maybe in a mine, maybe in a cavern with uh, the dark and the walls closing in around you and monstrous entities and creatures everywhere? What could be more frightening than that? Well, how about three of them? That's right. Today, I'm going to give you three horror books that all of them I highly recommend. Two of them are out now, and the third one is going to be available early next year. I will leave links down below to Amazon for all of them. And uh, if you're claustrophobic or you're scared of the dark, these books are not going to help you. <laughs> but they will frighten you, and that's the important thing. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first book I want to talk about is called Enter the Darkness by Sarah Budd. This is about four people that go missing in a cave system uh, during the solstice. You have uh, uh, one man who, this is his first tour. He's a tour guide, but this is his first official tour. He meets a woman who has ties to the underground and during the course of his tour, she goes missing. He has a huge crush on her and decides to go and find her. Hmm. But there's also a man named Bill who's the more senior of the tour guides at this location. He knows more than he's letting on. He knows some secrets about that case system. He knows that, of course, it's very dark down there without the lights. He knows there's areas of the cave that have never been explored and certain other areas that uh, nobody should ever go into. And he's determined to go in there and find them. And then you have a con artist, a girl who was chosen as a sacrifice for a spirit they call the White Lady, uh, who comes to feed on human flesh during the solstice. So now you have four people that are in these cave systems where it's dark, it's claustrophobic, it's uh, frightening, and only one of them will survive. I'm not going to tell you who. Uh, you'll have to find that out for yourself. But this is a, a fantastic book. I mean, some of the creatures that lurk down there, imagine being, being in these, uh, a cave system where the walls feel like they're closing in in complete darkness. And then looking up and seeing a horrifying creature this close from your face with its jaws wide open. <laughs> yeah, and they crawl across the ceiling and you can hear them, but you can't see them. It makes for a very frightening experience. This is a great book and I highly recommend it. And of course, click the link down below if you want to purchase Enter the Darkness by Sarah Budd. Do it now. And next, we have a book called Below by Kev Harrison. Uh, this is about uh, uh, a man. His grandfather got trapped in the mines and uh, presumably died many years ago. And now his grandson is going back to the mines with a social media influencer to make kind of a documentary trying to uncover what exactly happened uh, at that time. And once they get down there, they start hearing things, they start seeing things, they start realizing that their, that their uh, uh, perception of not only time but space is being warped. <clears throat> and they find these little notes, diary entries, in different places along the cave that for some reason nobody has ever found before, and they're from his grandfather. And in these notes, we'll find out over the course of the book that they describe things of uh, men going mad, of murder, of uh, cannibalism, uh, and entities and things that are down in that system that are not of this world. And as these two explore further and start wandering around they realize that they might be trapped down there and they are going to find out if these are just the ramblings of a of a crazy person uh during the last moments of his life last few uh weeks of his life or if these things are true 
this book will frighten you. It'll send uh, chills up your spine because, uh, like I said, you're in the dark. You're trapped in those walls, and uh, you you don't know which way is up, which way is down, which way you're going. And every little noise is uh, sounds like something terrifying coming uh, to get you. <laughs> So pick up a copy of Below by Kev Harrison. Again, the link will be in the description. And finally, we have a book that's coming out next year in January. I forget the exact date, but there is a pre-order link that I will leave you uh, for, from Amazon. And that is called Blood Tooth by D.W. Hits. Uh, the, the beginning of this book uh, is going to grab your attention and it's not going to let go uh, uh, at all when you're reading okay it's going to grab your attention it's going to keep your attention uh some kids are down in a cavern taking a school tour a few of them get separated from their group and they find what they think is a secret cave hidden in the shadows where the lights don't reach and where nobody seems to know it exists they decide to go explore as kids do of course that's a huge mistake and let's just say some very not nice things happen to these kids. While they do get out, they are not the same physically, mentally, or emotionally. And they bring something out with them, something that uh, possesses people's minds, causing them to commit atrocities against their neighbors and against their families, speaking to them, whispering ideas in their head that are horrible and terrible that they... Uh, agree with and just fulfill children going into comas for no apparent medical reason all across the town and this book takes place in the 90s but then we also flash forward uh, at, in sections to the year 2022 where they are now adults and we see the ramifications of that uh, period of that period back in the 90s that they went through because it seems like this evil has now reared its ugly head again and those that experienced it back then are well aware that the similarities happening in the town now are the same as back then and they had to find a way to fight it and defeat it once again forever so yes they're fighting this evil as children thinking they've eliminated it and now as adults they have to fight it again that might sound like the basic plot to it by Stephen King and it does have that kind of vibe uh, but this one is much more brutal much more bloody and except for that comparison there's no other uh, uh, comparison to the 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 two novels because this one is original it's uh it's frightening you don't know what's going on at times but you just know that these people are violent when you see children uh committing murder in cold, cold blood with sharp weapons, horrific murders, bloody, gory, brutal murders. Uh, yeah, that'll give you a case of the good old goosebumps, and this book certainly does. So yeah, go ahead and pre-order that one now. You're going to want to read it when it comes out next year, Blood Tooth by D.W. Hits. All right, be sure to check all those books out. Like I said, there are links down below if you want to purchase them or pre-order them on Amazon. And don't forget that my book of short horror stories called The Things That Happen at Night is available at the link in the description for $3. You can also sign up for my newsletter down there, read some free short horror stories over on Wattpad that I wrote, and also join me on all my social media. I would love to have you. Check out all those links. And as always, I want to say thank you for taking some of your time and spending it here with me. I really appreciate you guys watching. And until we meet again, keep reading spooky, my friends.